Teachers are learning on the job this summer as part of a State Department of Education pilot program now in its second year. Externships are a way for teachers to gain practical experience in the field to help enhance science and math in the classroom. This summer, teachers are going to work to help enhance science, technology, engineering, and math learning in their classrooms. They're doing it through a State Department of Education program called Externships, a paid job which gives teachers the ability to see STEM at work. This year, we've expanded that quite a bit, fourfold. Uh, we would love to see this model move into other communities and across the state over time, but it's paired with an important initiative that is also a pilot. Externships are an idea which sprouted from the teacher shortage as education leaders began to studying ways to tackle Oklahoma's problem. It helps to give teachers the chance to advance their training. When we formed the Teacher Shortage Task Force, we wanted to ensure that our teachers uh, were engaged, that they were well equipped to then be effective in Oklahoma classrooms. But we were also trying to work to help with a teacher shortage. So out of that came the opportunity to better prepare and train teachers. Oklahoma City-based Kim Ray is one of the companies joining the externship program this year. Piedmont High School teacher Cindy Ice is one of the Kim Ray externship teachers. I've been exposed to a lot of relevant information uh, that I use in the classroom, uh, practical applications. Boyle's Law is one of the examples ICE is talking about as she works with Kimray product engineers. I use Boyle's Law in uh, physics no. classes and uh, they actually use that here as an application, um, use the formula and uh, actually went through the process looking at a piece of equipment uh, that needed to be modified. Uh, so they actually went through the whole process of Boyle's Law and it was, it was, it was wonderful. Putnam City Academy teacher Michelle Miller also is in Kimray's externship program. So far this week I've been in the machine shop, which I find absolutely fascinating because I've learned so much about how a part is made and how math is used and engineering and technology and I'm just so excited to take that back to the classroom. Miller hopes to bring a tool of the trade to the classroom to help teach math. The guys were using micrometers to measure the parts they were making to make sure they were within the specifications they had and kids don't like to do math. So I'm going to see if I can get some micrometers, teach them how to use them and how important learning decimals are. It's just basic math. Miller feels exposing students to practical applications for math and science will help them retain better than just studying abstract formulas. It could also lead students who aren't necessarily college bound to a good career path. I work with in an alternative school. So these are kids who are tired of school, they're struggling with school, they're not going to want to go on to college. So if I can point them towards, you know, a trade like this where they can make decent money, only spend a little time in school or possibly even learn on the job, they can become productive members of society. When company leaders heard of the opportunity to partner with the State Department of Education on the externship program, Kim Ray felt it was a good fit. The company has a demand for a qualified workforce so it can grow and prosper in Oklahoma. It just fit in with what, uh, with what we want to do here at Kim Ray. We want to support our community. That's part of, we want to support education. And uh, if we can do something that's also going to help promote manufacturing as a career option, and because there's so much that I think that we're missing by, uh, by limiting what we're exposing our young people to. Kim Ray hopes to learn something from the teachers as well. At the end of the externship, the, the plan is to have our teachers uh, sit in front of a, a panel of our executive team to ask them questions about their experience and to also gain some perspective from what our executives have experienced as well in, in this process. The externship program also fits into the State Department of Education's long-term plan to improve classroom education in Oklahoma public schools. This is part of Oklahoma EDGE, which is our eight-year plan to help our students reach um, competitive education uh, and, and higher outcomes by 2025 all across the state. Miller will take her workplace experience to help improve her classroom's experience because now I know some of how each of these things work. So I can go back and tell that kid who asked me, why do I have to learn this? Here's why you need to learn this, because you're gonna to need to use this here. 
ICE recommends the program for any Oklahoma teacher. Oh, this is just a wonderful experience and I encourage uh, all teachers to look into it. It's been wonderful and everyone here at Kim, Kim Ray, I thank them. It, it's been a wonderful experience. However, Hoffmeister sees the externships as much more than training for teachers. It is meaningful professional development for teachers, but it's also a paid opportunity. Uh, we see that our teachers are um, clamoring for professional development, training, support, resources. So this helps in multiple areas. Hoffmeister hopes to see more companies get engaged with the externship program as it continues to grow and connect more classrooms with real work applications in math and science.